Idefix is the biggest open source or open multimodal large language model. It's a visual language model. I just said it large language model because it's huge and large. It's a multimodal model just like GPT-4 where you can send an image and ask question and it can answer back in text. This is the biggest open replication of a very popular model called Flamingo which is a state of the art visual language model developed by DeepMind. There have been previous attempts to replicate Flamingo which was Open Flamingo which was a 9 billion parameter model but in the case of Edifix we have got two variants of the model. One is a 9 billion parameter model and the second one is an 80 billion parameter model. So we have got two different variants, an 80 billion parameter model and a 9 billion parameter model. Just because we have got this name Edifix, let's look at the full form of it. It's called Image Aware Decoder Enhanced ELA or ELA, I don't know, it's a French word, I guess. Flamingo with interleaved cross attentions. Anyways, we call it Edifix and uh, I had to watch a YouTube tutorial to pronounce it correctly. But the point here is that this is a model in which you can upload an image and give a text so the model can take the image, understand the image, take the text and then give it back to you. How is it possible? It is possible because of two different models. Edifix is built on top of two different models and that's why the licensing is also a little complicated. So if you see Edifix is built on Llama version 1, the first Llama model and also based on the open clip model in itself. So it has got two different models and that is making the licensing a little complicated because these two models have different licensing. First it is built on Lion's clip open clip model and the second one is it's built on the Llama 65 billion parameter model, not the Llama 2 the first llama one that means it has got two different models sorry two different licenses the first one was released with an mit license the second one was released with a specific non-commercial license from llama which is from meta ai and you have to you know if you were to use it you have to comply with meta ai's licensing so these researchers have released the extra weight the additional weights that they trained under a new MIT license. Still, it's very confusing um, whether you can use it for a um, commercial purpose or not. But leaving that aside, I think this is a, this is an amazing model. Like uh, the fact that we have a we have an open replication of Flamingo, and that is also in two different forms, like an 80 billion parameter model and also a 9 billion parameter model is amazing. This model has uh, again two different versions. One is an instruct model. One is the base model. So if you want to use instruct model, you can use. If you want to use the base model you can use that as well the demos are quite impressive so one is you have got the official demo from hugging face so you can go to the edifex playground and then you can check a couple of examples unfortunately at the time of recording i could not upload an image so i could use only the examples that they have given here so you can click this and then it will say that okay this image is uploaded and it says explain this meme to me and then it actually explains this meme so it says the meme features a picture of a grumpy looking cat i like french people they eat pain and it it talks about why the meme is um, you know light-hearted and poking fun and amusing and also you can uh, ask questions about it like for example you can upload this image and then you can say okay which famous person does this image look like it says this image looks like barack obama and then it also gives you more details about why this is um, why this is interesting because uh, because of the wizard and um, all these kind of things you can also ask follow up questions for example you can say uh, give me a short easy recipe of this image and uh, you can ask follow up questions you can now ask further questions like is it healthy and you can send this image uh, send this question and it it is basically you know you're going to have follow up questions another interesting application that i found out based on this is hugging face also built another uh, spaces a demo which is called dad jokes where you can upload this image and it will start giving you jokes like you know like the meme jokes so i uploaded this as my latest thumbnail and it says breaking news llamas are considered to be one of the smartest animals on the earth so i'm going to click drop image and I'm going to upload another image here and I'm going to just submit it. So this has Python logo. This has like some the mind blowing logo and the Llama logo. And let's see what is the response it is going to give. So I uploaded this image. It says Python code with Llama emojis is so trendy right now. Not necessarily a dad joke, but it does a decent job. So you can upload, you know, different images and then say craft a humorous caption for this image. And then when you submit it, it is going to craft a humorous response or humorous caption for this. I think this is quite interesting the fact that gpt4 promised this but this never came to true it's a shame but uh, now that we have got an open replication of flamingo which is from deepmind when flamingo was launched 
everybody went bonkers because this looked quite amazing the fact that you can upload an image like any image and then ask it to do certain things is uh, really amazing like this for this image it says this man has mastered the art of walking tall and you have got like different 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 images that you can upload and ask questions about it i think this is a, this is quite an amazing achievement i would say edifix where you can upload an image and then you can ask also follow up questions like i said like we asked the question saying is it healthy for this burger and now it gives the answer saying okay while burgers can be tasty and satisfying meal they are not typically considered a healthy option and it gives extra details based on the ingredient so the ingredient in this is a uh, ground beef so it explains it goes on explaining okay the ground beef used in the burger is often high in saturated fat and cholesterol which can contribute to heart disease and other healthy issues health issues when consumed in excess so the point here is that okay first thing we have got an open source replication of flamingo and we have got a two different scales so one is a 9 billion parameter model and the second one is an 80 billion parameter model it's built on two really good models in fact llama version 1 and open click imagine this is built on llama version 2 i think that will be quite amazing maybe somebody is going to do that you can ask question with an image without an image and also you can ask follow up questions which uh, which is another amazing factor because you can have a chat with that and this model is available open and you can go ahead and then read about the data set and understand what kind of data that they use so you understand where do you use it where do you not use it it's integrated with transformers it's very straightforward for you to use it if you have enough or if you have a big gpu i'm definitely looking forward to try it out if you have any questions let me know in the comment section otherwise all the required link will be in the youtube description for you to try it out this is edifix the largest biggest multimodal open model that is available for us to use right now see you in another video happy prompting